guys, welcome to the Green Apple Home. So here's a life update. My husband got a new job and so he's abandoned me. He's flown to California and has left me here all week by myself <laughs> with the children. Um, so probably that's why I haven't been posting as often because things are a little bit more turbulent than normal. So anyways, um, but I just wanted to throw this quick video up. I have so many videos and things I wanna get out to you. Because I've been cutting the clutter and ever since you cut the clutter, like things start magically happening in your house where you find systems and find ways of doing things and things start finding homes. And I'm not saying my house is perfect because it is far from perfect. I still have like my little clutter zones. In fact, my bedroom is probably the worst for that right now, which is horrible because your bedroom should be a sanctuary and I know this. And so I'm trying to rectify that hopefully before he even gets back. So then you'll be surprised. Um, but yeah, my downstairs is flowing great. Like it's doing so well. Anyways, I'm just proud of myself. I guess I need to just pat myself on the back. Anyways, okay, let me show you what I did. I made three labels under my sink for my products that are like in my kitchen. Cause in your kitchen you need products to clean your fridge, your sinks, your countertops, your oven. Like there's a lot of stuff you need for your kitchen that's just not like pans, pots, things like that. So this is what I did. I grouped like with like, which is what you should always do when you're trying to get things organized. Group like things with like. So mentally you can say, okay, all these things belong up towards the sink because this is where I scrub my pots with the scrubber. So my scrubber should be there. Um, let me just show you. First of all, isn't this the cutest label? I just took some scrapbooking paper and then wrote sink. And then I took it again and wrote floors and miscellaneous and then counters. So those are the three categories I noticed when I stopped and noticed. <laughs> anyway, so everything up here in this one is kind of like sinkish. Like you need the stoppers for your sink. Um, even this. My baby shampoo, I sometimes, when my kids get their hands and their hair. They used to all the time after we had pancakes, put maple syrup. They just go straight for their hair after they eat something sticky sometimes. So I'd always have this handy so I could just lay them back up here and then um, scrub their hair in the sink and then dry it with a towel real quick. Anyways, there's that. There's pumps for extra soapy things or I guess this is dishwashing slash hand washing stuff. So I always put this up here in my little pump thing. If you don't have a pump for um, soap up here, you gotta have a pump. Cause then you can make your own, which I'm gonna show you how to do probably in September. Um, that is not my own though. I'm just trying to use up what I have right there. Anyways, I dilute it so it pumps nicer. But just like things, like scrubbing things. Like I have a toothbrush there I use to scrub crevices and um, yeah, it's magic eraser, disposal care stuff. This is to clean the sink. Anyways, all my sink stuff is here. And then I noticed that a lot of the categories of stuff were for flooring. So like the Swiffer or the Swiffer Vac little, what is that called? Whatever, the thing for it. <laughs> That's a real technical term. Um, the This is for stain removal of carpet. This is for, it's kind of like, um, whatever for your floors cleaner this is for the wet back all this is flooring except there's also miscellaneous because some stuff they just didn't go into a category like goo gone i like to have it out because i use it constantly when briz puts stickers on my leather things or whatever and they don't come off or whatever uh for breeze you know i might want to stick that and spray the garbage or something like that that's kind of miscellaneous anyways that's my second category my third category was for counters, so anything like waist high, um, there's surface cleaner, another counter cleaner, wipey things. Um, this is a cleaner for my glass ceramic stovetop, the flat one. And then this is just kind of extraneous, whatever. It's uh, kitchen, tall kitchen bags. And that's just on the top because it can be, it can be whatever. Maybe I should do a shelf up here, stick it up there, I don't know. Because there is, um, right here I could be doing a shelf, or right here I could be doing something coming out, or right here if I really wanted to. I don't really want to put something on the back because then I'd have to make sure it 
shut right. I just hate when you have to make sure things shut right. Anyways, this, this area, I put my dish, dishwashing detergent. I can put like eight right here if I really want to because I can do like one next to it and then two in the back. And then I can start stacking up high if I want. And then a fire extinguisher. Okay, so now you know all the products in my kitchen. La, la, la. La, ti, da. Anyways, I just wanted to share that with you because when you start looking at your stuff, then it kind of, you're like, oh, well, these kind of go together. Well, here's a home for it then. Here's a... Okay, so I got cut off because my camera ran out of footage, so I had to delete something really quick, and I just wanted to finish my thought, which I can't remember was. Um, like with like, then it can have a home, and you're like, oh, I'm going to put it here together right here, and then you'll know where to find it next time. Yay, our life is good. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to touch base with you because I hadn't posted a video for a while. Hope your life is going well. I love you. Yes, I do. And we'll see you next time on the Green Apple Home. Bye, guys.